do you make something unforgettable? Well, there's three things that go into it. First, you make it memorable. Next, you make it meaningful. And third, you make it momentous. We'll talk about those three things in future episodes. But today, I want to spend a few minutes talking about how do we make something memorable? I'll never forget going to the SEMA conference. I believe it was in 2017. And Jeff Hurt of the uh, Velvet Chainsaw was our MC. And he had it listed on the agenda. His closing session had a really fancy title, something talking about the neuroscience of events. And I was really excited. It's like, wow, that's a really fascinating idea. I had just been to a conference where there was a concurrent conference talking all about neuroscience. And I realized there's something to how the brain works and how we make decisions and change. And I wanted to understand better, how do we remember things and how does the brain remember things? Well, he unpacked a little bit during that session, but really what he did is he created an experience for me where time stood still. Now, let me explain how it worked. So what he did is he asked us to think back over the conference and remember three things that took place and to write those three things down. And then he asked us to go to the back of the room and he put up a timeline of the entire event. And he asked us to take three sticky notes and place those sticky notes on the agenda of the event. And then he looked at it and said, look, on Tuesday morning at 930, everybody had this profound experience. That session must have been really good. And so he got us to look at it together and see that there were some peaks and valleys to the event. Then he had us sit back down and he gave us some paper and crayons. And he said, I want you to draw a picture of one of those three things. Tell a story in a picture of what's going on. And then he had us go into a group and explain to the group what was going on in our picture. And then the last thing he did, he said, I want you to find someone that you don't know. And I want you to agree with each other that in 21 days, three weeks, you're going to make an appointment on your calendar to reach out and ha ask how it's going with those three areas that you said that you want to grow in. Now, if you notice, he's given us opportunity to think and reflect in three different ways. One verbally, one in writing, one with a drawing, and then he created an appointment with somebody else who's going to hold us accountable to making growth. And that's some of the ways that th things become memorable. The, uh, the German psychologist Effing Haas found that we forget 50% of what we learn within one hour and up to 90% within 30 days if we don't reinforce it. Well, Jeff created three different ways that we reinforced it so that when I got back to the office, the only things that I talked about were those three things because he created an opportunity for me to highlight the most important things that I learned, the things that I wanted to keep active in my mind and I wanted to take action upon. So the purposeful ways that within our event, we help people tell stories, to capture those stories, to capture those ideas, to retell it, will increase the effectiveness and power of our event.